In this video we are going to discuss about one of the green hydrogen production, PEM that is polymer membrane electrolysis. To overcome the drawbacks of alkaline water electrolysis, the first PEM water electrolysis phenomenon was idealized by Grubbs and developed by General Electric Company in the year of 1966. However, PEM water electrolysis technology is similar to the PEM fuel cell technology, here the sulfonated polymer membrane can be used as an electrolyte. Typically, PEM water electrolysis operates at lower temperatures, 30 to 80 C, with higher current densities, 1 to 2 A slash CM2, and produces high purity, 99.999% of gases, hydrogen and oxygen. During the PEM water electrolysis process, water is electrochemically split into hydrogen and oxygen. In this process, initially at the anode side water molecule is decomposed to generate oxygen, O2 and protons, H plus and electrons, E minus. The generated oxygen eliminated from the anodic surface and the remaining protons are traveled through the proton conducting membrane to the cathode side and the electrons are traveled through the external circuit to the cathode side. At the cathode side, the protons and electrons recombine to produce H2 gas. Advantages PEM water electrolysis offers several advantages over alkaline water electrolysis such as high operating current density because the kinetics of hydrogen elution reaction in PEM water electrolysis is faster than alkaline water electrolysis due to the highly active area of the metal surface of platinum electrodes and lower pH of the electrolyte. High purity of gases. Higher outlet pressure. Smaller footprint due to the absence of caustic electrolytes. Therefore, Globally several water electrolyzer manufacturers are developed large-scale, up to MW, PEM water electrolyzers for industrial and transportation applications. However, the major challenge associated with this technology is cost of the components, platinum electrodes. Therefore, considerable developments are needed to reduce the cost. Thanks for watching.